welcome back to the Far Care. Season 1 Review. We are jumping into episode 21 with Rafaela Luna Pisano. He shares with us his story around the diaspora trans indigeneity. Raf reminds us in this focado who really carries the essence in this golden nugget. And tradition, you know, is a, is a really live and breathing um, being to me. Thank you. Mm-hmm. And always shifting and changing because how would we stay alive <laughs> as indigenous folks if we didn't adapt and shift and move, right? Um, while maintaining the essence um, of those teachings. I think that's what people are always afraid of uh, when shifting tradition. Well, how, we're going to lose the essence. And I'm always like, you are the essence. You are the essence. <laughs> Our elements are all around us. They're not changing. Like the oceans and the mountains are so much older than us mm-hmm. and bigger. Um, they are the essence, you know, as long as you can stay with them, you know. So what if I'm not wearing a skirt right now? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's going to be okay. Um, and, and also we learn, right? Okay, so maybe doing it that way didn't work out change it again like you can keep adjusting it it's not Mm. you know once you shift it doesn't mean you can't shift it again um that you know change is scary because again the unknown is on the other side raf then gives us another lens to traditions as we navigate various complexities in expressing tradition in this year you know if tradition is not um allowing the if it's actually holding back the growth of an individual and therefore the collective, like we need to really look at it again um, and, and see if the tradition's not actually enhancing and, and supporting and nourishing mm. life, then, you know, but then again, whose life, right? And so, mm. you know, people might be like, oh, well, the majority though feels you know, mm-hmm. nourished. <laughs> and it's like, you can't leave anybody behind. That's not how we work, not as native folks. Because even if you try, you're going to feel us because, you know, we're all connected here and you'll feel us. Raf then invites us to reflect on how we are all trans in this liminal space. Check out this final piece. In the context of a colonial space now, um, having to assert ourselves as trans folks in indigenous space just to keep rehabbing everyone else, you know? It's like transness is is part of our practice. Um, that fluid movement in space is part of our practice. You already know that. Why is it so scary, though, when my body's doing it day in, day out in this way, you know? What does this bring up for you, Molly? Um, so there's so much that, like, because to me, I feel like this heals a lot of my... Um, my confusion around how to be in my full power and in my fullness in mm. every space that I that I that I that I walk into. So yeah. for me, this is such a relevant conversation. Um and I feel like this will always be a relevant conversation, especially dealing with um with travel and I, like and I guess to me, um when it comes to traversing the oceans and and the lands of 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 mother earth i'm always i'm always wondering like how does one keep po to themselves mm. and 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 it doesn't matter where you are but but you know you're you're always understanding that you carry that like and i guess to me i don't want to mansplain um what raf has already put cuz raf's like potions were so potent mm-hmm. i think it's such a healing space that they they're able to that he's able to to articulate that in such a fashion that's like actually like you know that he's been putting some thought onto that and that's mm. a normal conversation for him now yeah where i'm like i'm keeping up and i'm like oh okay i've always i've always known that i just needed somebody to remind me or i i i, I needed someone to invite me into that conversation of being like yeah that innateness is is true that 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 feeling of um, tradition and and even so to me I, I really like the negotiations between tradition versus the living tradition mm-hmm. and that back and forth is really interesting for me and um, there's a lot to say around what indigeneity is so yeah. to me um, I'm, I'm of the Fakaro that indigenous people are people who live on earth so I'm it's 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 really it's really interesting because like when people say that they're not indigenous or like I guess it, it's 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 a it's a fringing conversation because I I'm not removing anybody's indigeneity. I think mm. indigeneity is actually inner dignity. So your inner dignity is within you. So you have to dig and excavate mm. mm-hmm. for yourself yeah. how you fit into this world. And that's why for me, 
in my whakaro, I feel like a lot of people who say that they're not indigenous, they have the longest journey back home. And that's why for me, I've got a lot of grace and love for, for people who say that they're not indigenous because I'm like, if you live on earth, you are indigenous to earth somewhere. Yeah. And it's like, to me, the conversation is popularized as indigenous people are people of color and all of these things. And I'm like, no, 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 no. You've just forgotten that 20, 25 generations ago, 50 generations ago, that you you were indigenous. You mm. were indigenous once upon a time. And now that you've ca- gained so much privilege over a lifetime and you've forgotten that you're indigenous and now that you've forgotten you're indigenous, you're, you're, you're perpetuating your forgotten ways. Wow. So to me, yeah. So to me, I'm in I'm in that um, frame of space of being like, um, I have a lot of grace for people who don't claim to claim their indigeneity, and at the same time, it's not their fault because education systems are built that way. Mm. Education's like, and so so you know, like th- that's why for me, the complexity is deeply woven. So to me, it's this is not a conversation between, um, um, who's right and who's wrong. This is a conversation about tracing the fucker pop off things. And that's why colonialism is only 500, 500 years old. Like indigeneity is actually the human way. The most human thing you can do is to claim your indigeneity, your inner dignity, and to excavate that to see how you show up in the world. That's, 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 I'm of that mind and I'm of that um, incline, inclination of thinking and feeling into that because to think otherwise would be just to play the blame game. Yeah. Like, you know, for me to be like, to, to split up everything into these silos and be like, you know, you white people live here, you black people live here, you brown people live here, you, I'm mm. like this, that would be playing into the systems that want us to stay there. Yeah. Which is the low separated. hanging fruit. Yeah. The high, like for me, the high hanging fruit is actually, where did this all come from? How did this all come about? And there's positive and negative and like, comp- like, complexities that's attached to us um i'm happily i'm happy to be wrong about this and i know that i'll I'll get a lot of people who don't want to entertain that people who are colonizers are not indigenous and i'm like that's a truth and i will not deny them of that truth i also know that the other truth is if you live on earth you're indigenous to earth and you have a responsibility to earth that no one else that like for me anyways that that's 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 on facts for me mm. as well as people who only believe that brown people or the the, the genocidal culture uh, uh or the erasure of their culture and all of the yeah. mama that all of that is true as well mm. and and indigeneity is not a brown thing it's not a color thing it's it's a human thing from my understanding of what indigeneity is but yeah, so that's a little bit about me. What are your what what's coming up for you in terms of either Raf's conversation or my conversation? I have mind. never thought about that about indigeneity indigeneity like that before. Um I like yeah, we all have that place where we originate from, right? And from what I've heard, that's what from what I've heard from you now, that's what I'm am attaching to indigeneity. Is this correct? Yeah. Um. And yeah, I do think that I have a long journey back home to find where my people come from. Mm. Because and like, just being totally honest, I don't really know my fucker papa, and that is. I wouldn't want to say it's a privilege. But it also, like, I haven't been questioned about it, and I think it is because I'm white. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. I know that people won't think like me, and, like, that's that's why I'm saying, like, you know, when I was saying to you before around um, so a lot of my opinions are, are things have grown outside of the the the... the <laughs> the natural norm mm. of 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 all the majority popularized notions of, yeah. of what that is which is a natural thing as well i feel like when mm. you dive deeper into things you're going to get to a land where you're going to get to an opinion where it's so wishy-washy that you're like nah that doesn't align at all it's mm. still a truth whether you agree with it or not yeah do you know what i mean and to, sure. me, to me i look at 
I look at indigeneity in a way that I'm like, I'm trying to look for the best in indigenous people. And the best in that is to entertain that everybody is that. And also it's a 100%. So I can acknowledge that it's a privilege that I can trace my papa. It's a privilege. Mm. I'm honored by that privilege. And I uplift yeah. my lineage because I know what, the, what it is. Yeah. And I like, I show that off as a reminder mm. to myself and my people and to people who are curious. And that's why I think that's why I really loved when I was being taught about what a pipiha is, a lot of my, like a lot of our, a lot of the people that was teaching me about pipiha and were talking about pipiha, pipiha is that it's a lifelong journey. Yeah. And I'm like, I can see where if I put in the work here, it would change the generational cycle. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like For I'm, sure. I'm the person who put their life's work into finding my pipiha. Mm -hmm. And that's going to serve so many of your descendants. And that's like, so to me, that's, that's, that's what's empowering me at the moment where I'm like, yeah. I, I don't see success as, um, as gaining capital or all of these things. I'm like, I have the capital. I am the capital. Yeah. You are the capital. And I can recognize how the truth of these round bills, which is something that's like to me, I'm like, I love the round bills because those those are me. Mm. Mm. But there is so much more in in in, in Raf's um conversations. Yeah, for sure. So much more. And I believe so that good. they that that he brings such a refreshing take on a lot of things, which has also been the domino effect of why I started diving into my perspectives on indigeneity. Yeah. Mm. I think also like I am was a bit fuckama about speaking on this mm. because I feel as though my voice represents a colonial voice. Mm. And I would encourage anybody else who is of Pakia descent to really lean into this kōrero, really lean in and see what is in there, what are you perpetuating, what are the lessons that you can take from this conversation because this conversation really, really stretched my thinking and still does. Yeah. Bina kawaka levu raf. Yeah, thank and you. And we love... Um, your your peoples in Cebu as well as um in Turtle Island, yes. um, we love all your peoples, um both present and past. So thank you so much for doing your work so that you can actually remind us of the work that we can need to do as well, yeah. which is the gift. Like the work is not mahi that's hard; it's mahi that's heart. Oh, uh, nice! I totally just pulled that. Um, that's not me. Um, anyways. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, please do go and listen to the full episode. Yeah. And do 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 the fuck you. 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 Fuck you.